Hey guys, Chris Badan here. Let me show you how I go about routing the Invasion Drum Pack inside of Persona Studio One. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new output section. So if you go over to Outputs, click the plus sign, Quantity, we want 16. Now I don't use personally uh, all 16 channels, but um, this will work with any configuration. So if you want to change it, you don't want to do exactly what I'm doing, then uh, you can still follow this. So right here it says delete existing channels before creating new ones. We definitely want to do that and we definitely want to make this our default. Just so if you go over to um, any of the other jump packs, you can still have this output section. So we'll check that. We'll hit OK. Told us that it made it the default. OK, so next let's rename this. Kick, snare, hi-hat, racks. Floors, S, overhead, room close, room far, symbols. Okay. So now that we labeled everything, the next thing that I want you to do is over here where it says preset slash batch, config batch configuration. Let's do save current output section state as default for all formats. Now. The next thing that we need to do is we need to uh, configure these outputs here. So you can see that it doesn't really show, and we can do it this way, um, but there's a little bit easier way. If you, if we remove this, which mine's kind of weird just because I'm recording my uh, screen. So I'm going to remove the track here, and then I'm going to remove the instrument. So then I'm gonna bring in another instance of contact and as you can see, it's already defaulted to kick snare, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now that invasion is loaded up, let's get the inputs going. So down here, you're gonna see channel one, channel two. So now, as you can see, it shows exactly what it needs to be. So kick. And then we'll do snare, snare. Just match them up. So I'll go ahead and do this and then I'll get back to you once I'm finished up. Okay, so now that everything is routed, uh, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way until symbols, and you may have more, so you'll just have to keep going. And by labeling it first and then saving it as default here, and then closing and reopening, it's gonna make it a lot easier to um, just know where everything goes. Um, so next, uh, this is when we have to route inside of Studio One, and it really is super simple. Right over here where it says instruments, and if you don't have that, just click here and it'll open up. If you click on it, then you're gonna see everything that we labeled is gonna be right here. And so this also makes life a lot easier. So next, you just check, 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 check all these. It's going to add them as new tracks, as you can see. Now, the next thing that we that I usually do is I will color code them. I like blue. I like keeping my drums blue. And you can see where it says KT kick, KT snare. You can keep it like that. For me, I just like it to say kick. Okay, so now that we have that, let's tell this where all these are. So the cool thing about Invasion is you can kind of click and drag to have a few selected, but it only works if you click and drag on the label. So we want these to be kicked. Actually, I want all these three to be kick. And then I want overheads here, room close here, and then room far. So since we did this, we saved the preset as, it has everything labeled really nice for us. Snare, 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 overheads, room close, 
room far. So you're just matching what it says. Toms. So we have just racks and floors. So I want all the racks in the racks category. All the floors in the floors category. Overheads in the overhead category. So on, so forth. Under symbols, hats, we're gonna have HH for hi hat. Now the rod, I put in the symbol section. Same with the effect symbols. Um, <clears throat> overheads, room close, room far. So now we can check this to see if everything is. Got the kick, snare, you can see it, hi hat. Rack. And you can see we got the um, overheads going as well. Room close. Sweet. Room far. And then symbols. These are going to be like chinos and stacks and stuff like that and so can't really hear anything else but I kind of like that just so I can adjust those accordingly because those can tend they, they tend to get a little loud so that's fine with me so the next thing is well write some parts mix it all up and I mean that's really it guys uh, the, the, that's what I love about studio one is Routing this is so easy, um, but I think the most important things are naming these, saving current output section as default, just so when you do this, because you're gonna do this, if you create a new session, uh, you're gonna do this every time. Now, I made another video on my YouTube channel, how to create a template uh, in Studio One, just so you don't have to do this every time, and if you get inspired to write, you can just jump in into your template and everything will be done everything will be labeled and colored and everything that's how I like to do it just because I hate the technical side you know I just want to start jamming and so yeah this is this is how you do it guys uh, if you guys have any questions you can hit me up uh, at Instagram chris.badan or badan.drums or if you want uh, some get good drums help uh, if you have any issues or anything like that, if you'd like to report any bugs or anything like that, then um, you want to contact support at getgooddrums.com. And uh, Joe, he is awesome. He is such a cool dude, and uh, he is usually one that will be helping you. Uh, so you will be in good hands. But if you guys have any questions, like I said, you can hit me up or you can hit Joe up. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.